Hello, students. Welcome to English Practical Classroom with me, Miss Soraya. In this our first meeting, the material will be Meet the People. Here we go. And the topics are 1. Greeting expression 2. Leave taking expression 3. Country and nationality 4. Meet new people Greeting expressions In greeting someone, there are typically three greetings that you can use. First column shows simple greetings. Hi, hello, hello there, hi. General greetings. How are you? How is it going? How it's been? How is everything? How do you do? Greetings of the day. Good morning, morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. There is also formal greeting. When someone says good morning, you can respond back with hello, good morning, good afternoon, hello, good afternoon. When someone greets you with good evening, you can respond back with good evening. Hello, how are you? You can respond back with I'm fine, thank you. Oh, very well, thank you. There is also informal greeting. When someone greets you with hi, how's life, you can respond with terrific. And you? Informal greetings. What's news? Just fine, thanks. How's everything? Great, thanks. How's business? Pretty well. What about you? Good to see you. Good to see you. When to say how are you and when to say how do you do? Well, how are you is used when you want to ask the news of the people or a person that you have already known before. For example, you meet your brother who just came back from out of the city and you say how are you and the answer or the response to how are you could be i'm fine pretty well everything is good and any other response and when to say how do you do how do you do is just quiet the same with how are you but how do you do is used to ask the person's news, but the person you don't know him before. For example, you are the new student at your college, and by the time you meet your friend, you say, how do you do? And to respond to how do you do, only how do you do too. When to use
When someone says leave taking expressions to you, you may respond back. Sorry, I have to go now. You may respond with yes, of course, see you. Or I'll talk to you later. You can say like sure, see you later. It's been nice talking to you. You may answer with so long. Goodbye, goodbye. Or oh, take care. Bye bye. Keep in touch. See you tomorrow. See you. Well, here you can see so long. What does so long mean? So long means just like see you. Okay. Now let's continue to nation and nationality. In Bahasa, nation means. Negara, while nationality means keluarga negaraan. In English, a nation can be directly changed into nationality by adding the nation name with a suffix. Suffix means imbuhan. For example, the suffix an. Nation Brazil. The nationality is Brazilian. Nation Indonesia. Nationality Indonesian. And so on. Suffix ESE. The nation Japan. Nationality Japanese. The nation China. Nationality Chinese and so on. There is also suffix ISH. For example, the nation Sweden. The nationality is Swedish. Turkey. The nationality is Turkish. There is also country that doesn't use certain suffix. So, I categorize them into suffix others. The nation, for example, French, the nationality is French. The United Kingdom, the nationality could be English or British, and so on. There is also formal greeting. Common question for asking someone's personal information. 1. What is your name? You may answer with, my name is XXX. 2. How old are you? You may answer with, I am 20 years old. 3. What is your job? My job is a teacher. 4. What does he do for a living? He is a farmer. 5. Where are you from? I am from Germany. 6. Where do you come from? I come from Jakarta. 7. What is your nationality? My nationality is Indonesian. Pay attention on A, B, and C while they are introducing themselves. A. My name is Jeremia Laurent. I am from Belgium. I am a Belgian and I am an architect. B. I am Emma Winston. I come from Vancouver. I am a Canadian and my job is an accountant. C. My name is Ahmed Farouk. I come from Saudi Arabia. My nationality is Arabian and I am a businessman. 
Now, take your part as D, E, F, G, and H in introducing yourself just like A, B, and C did. My name is Ingrid. I'm a graphic designer. I'm German and I'm from Munich. I'm married with two children. They're both in high school. Their school's near my office. My husband's an engineer. We're interested in travel and the cinema. My sister's an accountant. Hi. I'm Pierre. I'm an architect. I'm from Switzerland. My office is in Zurich. My boss is Irene. I'm Olga. I'm an engineer. I'm from Russia. My office is in Moscow. My boss is Eugenia. I'm Anna. I'm a lawyer. I'm Polish. My office is in Poznan. My boss is Alex. Hello students. Welcome to English Practical Classroom with me, Ms. Soraya Dinamika. In the very first meeting, the material will be Meet the People. Here we go.